Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. I'm here with Chase, and today we're throwing down some Kings of War 3rd Edition, uh, the latest big fantasy mass tabletop game from Mantic Games. Now this one, um, it's not necessarily as big of a shift as uh, the first edition was the 2nd edition. It's more kind of like a refinement, I would say, of 2nd and 3rd, where most stuff still works the same way. There's a few tweaks, basically, to balance the game, um, and a bunch of new list design. Also some cool new accessories, a big hardcover rulebook, and a much expanded universe. Uh, if you want to hear about all that, go up in the cards here, and you can check out my review of the hardcover um, 300 plus ish page Kings of War 3 rulebook. Uh, but today we're going to jump in and play a game. If you've played Kings of War before, it's pretty easy to follow, but I'm going to do a lot of explaining in the first two turns just so you can understand how it works. Um, but right now we're going to show you the armies, I'll show you the mission, and get this underway. So here it is, the Kings of War 3rd edition, beautiful big hardcover rulebook. Um, Ronnie was actually nice enough to sign mine too, which is really nice of him. Uh, and you're going to be pretty familiar with this if you played Kings of War before, otherwise I'm just going to walk you through it. So what are you going to get? Uh, you're going to get a mass combat tabletop battle game, uh, which you can play in a variety of formats for playing rank and flank fantasy. Uh, this is my Ogre Army. If you have seen it before, you'll notice I've totally revamped it and rebased it. I got some new giants, uh, I got some new characters and stuff in here, and also all of them are based on magnetic spinners, so I can rotate them with one hand. Whoa, look at that, look at those sweet, sweet rotations. I did, I did try and do the characters, but then decided not to, because it was just tedious, and they don't need to pivot that, that precisely. But pivoting your units when you get in combat and stuff can be pretty important, so this gives them a nice way of precision pivot. It's just basically a magnet, and then a large base underneath to make them pivot around and they stick quite nicely. Uh, I've also got here some of the cool accessories. There's some magic cards and some magic item cards you can get now from Mantic, which is super handy for tracking your rules over the course of the game. Uh, and so, yeah, what do you need? Well, you need some miniatures, you need the rules, and you need someone to play with on a flat surface. The basic format for the game is you can either rank up individual models on trays, so 20, 25 mil, 40, 50 mil infantry and cavalry, like 25 by 50 cavalry, however you want to do it uh, to make your armies. Or you can use tray footprints, like unit footprints, and multi-base them. And I went with multi-basing. For the simple like fact that you never remove miniatures in this game anyway, it and it just looks nicer. Like it's way easier to handle them and it looks so cool because you can have like cool scenic bases and every unit's basically a diorama. Um, you don't do you don't do casualty removal in this game. You just track the amount of damage on the units, and when they flee, they finally just route completely. So it's a it's a nice clean mechanic. It means that when you pick up your trays, you can stick in places that, that you know all the guys won't just fall off. Um, and I I just I like how it looks. It looks really good. So I, I rebased all these guys recently on some sweet sweet bases. Uh, my buddy Derek and his boys cut for me. Thanks so much. Uh, and um, and yeah, and you're gonna you're gonna be playing this game basically either. The old way where you rank up each individual miniature, but I really like this way where you actually just kind of make your units into dioramas instead. How do the units work? Well, pretty simple. You've got arcs. Hey, look at that, your units with arcs. Uh, you have a 45 degree front arc. So regardless of the shape and size of your base, you always have a 45 degree arc. So don't measure corner to corner. You're going to want to grab yourself a widget. I actually have the old widgets, um, which are nice and easy to use to measure my line of sight and my arc. And then you have a leader point, which is the center of every unit. That's where you line up from, and you do all your measurements from the leader point uh, when you're measuring range and shooting and all that stuff. Army construction is pretty simple. It's based on a unit buy system. So you start buying units and each unit unlocks additional things. The basic unit formation would actually be these three ogres right here. It's a regiment. And every regiment unlocks two troop choices. So troops are something that are like little supporting small units, like a unit of like 10 regular size guys would be a troop unit. Um, and then it also unlocks one of a list of things. So either an artillery piece, a character like these guys, a monster or titan like these giants back here. Now if you take a larger unit, like these guys are hordes, uh, these bigger units of ogres, they will unlock four troop choices, um, and normally a horde, uh, not a large infantry horde, will also unlock one each of the, the other types. So you get a monster titan um, or hero. And then the, the the small limitation basically on large infantry hordes, so they don't get to buy everything for having like the, the units they just want to take is, they get to pick two from that list instead of getting all three. So for my army, I have one, two, three hordes, which means I can take six uh, titans, heroes, war machines, whatever I want. I only have five. And then I have one more regiment, and that is going to uh, unlock another one of those. So I could potentially take seven uh, titans, leaders, or uh, sort of titans, heroes, monsters, or war machines. Uh, I'm only using five, though. I have two titans, which are my two giants here, two big old, big old stab, stabby giants, and then three characters. 
I have the living legend Grokamagok. Uh, he is the the biggest, baddest ogre of them all, and probably my favorite like miniature in the army because he just kills stuff. I got a army standard bearer who's there to wave his flag and keep people from running away. And then I've got uh, a whiz. I got my new warlock here, my ogre warlock, and he sucks power from the ogres around him and makes himself more powerful. And knows a bunch of spells. He knows lightning bolt, which is a 24 inch range gun, basically. Uh, Blood Boil, which hits an enemy unit within 12, and the amount of damage they've already taken is the amount of attacks they take. And then Mind Fog, which is kind of like a Blood Boil or Lightning Bolt, but it just makes you make an immediate nerve test based on the amount of damage you already have at the end of the phase. Um, it doesn't do any damage itself. So something's already super wounded, you can you get a chance to try and pop it. Um, and then uh, after that, I've also got a troop, because these guys are irregular. It's another type of unit. Irregular units don't unlock other troops, uh, so even though they're a horde, if they have a little asterisk next to their name, they become um, a troop style unit, which means they have to be unlocked by buying other stuff. So most of the big powerful shooting units in the game, uh, they become irregular, so you can't just spam shooting units and, and just blow guys away from across the table. So overall, I have one, two, three hordes, um, and then one regiment, which would unlock a grand total of, if I wanted to take them, 14 troop choices. I have a single irregular unit that counts as a troop, and then I have three Three heroes and two titans. I also have some magic items uh, which attach to my units. These guys have the blessing of the gods which allows them to reroll ones to hit. Uh, the chance of hate which is 30 points. Now, if you see a split point value it means that a bigger horde uh, basically has to pay the more expensive items to get more value out of it. So I'm paying the top price for all of these, 30 points for them. Uh, Chant of Hate lets me roll once to wound. The Brew of Strength for 40 points gives me Crushing Strength 1. If I already have Crushing Strength, which I do, it adds to it. So these guys are Crushing Strength 2. And the Brew of Sharpness gives them plus 1 to hit, so they hit better uh, in melee with their melee stat. I started to buy some of these spells. Lightning Bolt's the one you come stock with, so Mind Fog and Blood Boil are upgrades for my wizard, and I paid the appropriate points for them. Let's talk about the anatomy of a stat line. Now, you do have some, um, some basic stats for every army list. The first one is their affiliation. Now, I'm a neutral. Uh, yeah, it was neutrals. What does it take Kif to make a man neutral? Um, apparently just money. <laughs> <laughs> the Ogres will fight for anybody, uh, and as they were my first Kings of War Army, redoing them and adding some of my future Northern Alliance units seemed like the best choice. Uh, they can ally with anybody, which means 25% of their points if you're playing with allies can be spent on other armies, either good or evil. You only get to pick one, uh, but they'll come fight for you, and you do have to spend all the same restrictions on locking their troops. So you have to buy a regiment of them before they can buy their troops, before they can buy a, a hero or monster. They can never have magic items, and they're not considered to be core to your army. So the core stuff is all the stuff that your main army faction is from the same army. So all of my ogres are my core list. That means that things like inspiring that only affect the core troops. Um, will only apply to them. So if I took allies, the banner wouldn't work on them because they don't care about my raggedy ass flag. Uh, whereas um, the allied units will 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 basically be like supporting stuff. They let me buy units I couldn't normally take, but they don't get magic items. And they, I also can't take name characters or big guys. After that, you usually have an army-wide special upgrade. I can buy crocodogs, but I don't have any miniatures for them, so I didn't use them. Um, uh, Chase's army can actually buy uh, mop pups that he can stick in his unit to do like a cool thing at the end of the game. But you usually pay an upgrade point value for them, and I didn't bother. Uh, so for my infantry, I can actually get goblin slaves. I didn't, I didn't actually rebase my goblins yet, but I should. I have some goblin uh, spitters that I could take at some point. They're pretty cool. They give me some gunshots. I have cavalry. I have goblin scouts and sniffs that are wolf riders, and then chariots. I can actually take warriors and boomers on chariots. Which is pretty cool. So I mean, I can have gun chariots, or I can have um, fight chariots. And then I have my large infantry. So this is the core of my ogre army. Boomers, which are shotgun ogres, shooters, which are these guys right here with the crossbows, uh, warriors, which is what the rest of my, my big hordes are, uh, and then hunters, who are like a special dude. Berserkers, I gotta paint some, and siege breakers, who are guys with big shields and big weapons. Now, the anatomy of it, you've got your speed, which is how far you move, so basic move action will take you six inches. Your melee stat, which is gonna be, for most people, four plus, four plus, is kinda average in this game. I'm a bit better, my warriors are three plus, five plus, so that's what people, that's what I need to roll to hit when I hit someone in melee, that's what other people need to roll to hit to hurt me, is my defense stat. Uh, then I have um, my uh, regiment size, so how many models have to be in each regiment. My unit strength, which is used for controlling sections of the board. So if you have a unit strength of zero, you never contest objectives and you can't like control the board. Most of my units have a unit strength of at least two, the hordes have three. Number of attack dice that you throw, your nerve and your uh, route factors, and then how many points you are. And then your height. So for height, that's can you see over other units. All my guys are height three. I think all the goblins are height one. Uh, the cavalry maybe are height two. So it's can you draw a line of sight over top of units, basically. Um, and then finally, special rule. So I'm brutal, which means I always add plus one to nerve tests. 
Uh, and I have crushing strength one, which means I'd plus one to hit when I roll against someone's defense. I have some options. I can exchange my shields for 200 weapons, lowering my defense to four plus, but getting crushing strength two instead. And I can buy a crack dog for five points, which is a once per game. I can reroll three ones to hit. And then keywords is also new in Kings of War three is certain things will only affect things with the same keyword. So I'm all my guys are keyword ogre, except for my goblins, things that affect ogres will affect them. And so let's talk about setting up a game with the uh, the the sort of like basic anatomy of an army done. Um, I've got my opponent over here. He's got some similar things. He's got a legion with the pipes to tear, which is a huge unit of goblins. Now legion unlocks even more troops, um, as well as unlocking the same amount of stuff as a horde, as far as like artillery and heroes and. Um, uh, regular, uh, what should we call it, uh, War Machines. So you do have some War Machines. You have a, what is it, a mop-up flinger? Yep, a mop launcher, yep. And then you have a, a what's it, a uh, War Trombone, which is basically <laughs> a giant shotgun. And those both count as artillery. You also have two heroes. You have a Lord of Chariot, and you have a Wizard back there, and he's got uh, Bane Chant as an upgrade. And then what else do you have? Oh, I've got a uh, Troll Bruiser as another hero. Sweet, so three heroes. Uh, a troop of uh, the Cavalry, which I think is the Sniffs? Sniffs, Sniffs. 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 Can't remember which one. And also the Regiment. Uh, Mincer Troop, which are these two guys up here. And Mop Up uh, Troop. And what else do I have here? Just a regular rabble of Infantry. Yep, uh, Regiment. Regiment. And, and a Horde of Ogres. A uh, Horde of Trolls. Horde of Trolls. Yep. Sweet, and then for Titans, you have two Giants. Two baby giants. Two, 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 two baby giants. giants. That's right. Two baby giants. The size difference. <laughs> They'll see the size difference. Right? Yes. <laughs> they are. They are slightly different in size. Um, and so we're going to set up a game, which means we pick a mission now, and we'll set up the table. So we set up our table, and we define our terrain. So uh, training King's War is pretty simple to move through for the most part. The only thing you can't usually do is march through it. Um, we have hills. Hills add height to your unit. So if I'm height three and I'm on a three inch hill, and we'll define that at the start of the game, you get to be height six for the purpose of line of sight. You have to be at least half on it to count as on the hill. Uh, so this is our height three hill. We have obstacles. We'll put them on, on this side. You can move through obstacles freely, but you can't march across them. You can charge across them, but you'll become hindered, which means you're minus one to hit and you'll lose special rules like thunderous charge and stuff. And we have some passable terrain. We got some cottages here, uh, some obstacles, some fences around them, and then two woods. Uh, and woods, once again, um, you can't see through them. They can provide uh, obstruction, so minus one to hit if you're inside them. And you can't march through them, but you can move. So with our place train done, set up after rolling for the game type and setting up the objectives and loot, if any, players roll a die. So we're going to do Pillage as our first one. Pillage has D3 plus 4 objective markers. You want to roll for that and sure. see we how many we have. D3 plus 4 will be 5. 5 loot counters, handy dandy little pillagey counters here, and we're going to roll off to see if it places the first one. Uh, they can place anywhere on the table, at least 3 inches away from blocking trains. So it'll be 3 inches away from this thing, so you guys can maneuver around it. Uh, and then they have to be 12 inches away from each other. So we'll roll off right now to see who places the first one. Two to four. So you get to place the first one, which means you'll get three to my two. Okay. And place them anywhere you want. Remember, we haven't picked table sides yet, so you don't want to put them like in deployment zones and stuff. Right there. Oh, block and tree. No, it's, yeah, it's within three. Yeah. You're fine. I'll put one up on this hill. All right. Uh, let's go in the open. Looks good. Uh, let's put one over here. It's going to be at least 12 away. It looks good. You got one more? 12 way, 12 way. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Far. Far? Sounds Let's good. Go far. Sweet. So in the game, each uh, of these will award a victory point. The person with the most victory points will win. So um, when you pick up a loot counter, uh, you move over top of it. When one of you gets end, uh, ends a phase of its turn, excluding the sky moves on top of it, you'll pick it up. Uh, then you'll be considered to be carrying it. You can drop a loot counter anytime um, and start your move. Just place it anywhere inside the footprint. Uh, if one of your units is red while carrying it, then you place it inside the footprint when it's destroyed, and units with the individual rule cannot carry a loot counter, but they can contest it by standing on top of it. Um, while you're carrying a loot counter, your speed's reduced to 5 and cannot be targeted by Wind Blast and Thrall or Surge. Additionally, while carrying a loot counter, the unit loses Fly, Nimble, and Wild Charge. So you're slow when you're carrying it. Uh, and so now that we've placed the loot, we'll roll for setup and start deploying our units. I got a 2. To your 2. two. Try again. I, I got a 6. Tier four. All right, so I get to pick sides and deploy first. Setup's pretty simple. It's meant for a six foot board, so it's 12 inch deployment zones. Uh, set up area A and B. All right, and we're deployed. I have giant number one over here. 
Uh, I have my shooters on the hill with a regiment behind them. Now you can freely move through your own friends, so that does make a little bit more sense. Grakmagak with my uh, Ogre Warlock and then a regiment with the Brew of Strength. My Battle Standard, the Brew of Sharpness regiment, and the Chant of Hate um, double-handed weapon regiment. My last giant on the flank. For you, you've got Troll Horde along with the Troll Boss, your regiment of just Stabbers, and then you have your um, Mincers in behind. Your Mop of Launcher, War Trial Bone, and one of the Giants then hide behind the woods. Wizard with Bane Chant, uh, your lovely legion of goblins with the Pipes of Terror, and then uh, your huge, or your little mop pup unit, your other giants, your war boss on a, um, uh, which we call a chariot, and then your regiment of... And troop in front, too. Oh, and a troop in front, a regiment yeah. of, uh, yes, of riders, and then a, a troop, too. All right, so potentially seven turns here. It goes six with a seventh on a four plus. Let's D6 to see who's going first. Huh. Not me. Huh. Not oh, me maybe, either. Maybe not. Okay. All right, try again. I got a potato. I got a uh, three. three. Okay, oh, stop okay, this. Stop. Don't do this. <laughs> you stop what are you this. doing? Four to five. Oh, all, right. Right. all right. So with Chase going first, the anatomy of the turn is pretty simple. There's three phases. And what's interesting about Kings of War, if you haven't played it before, is I won't inter I won't do anything during this turn. I have no dice to roll. I have nothing to do. It's the perfect clock timed game because Chase's entire turn, he can pre-measure um, and he can do all of his phases in order. And he even rolls the dice to see if I flee. So you have uh, three phases to go through. The movement phase is first. When you move, you can issue the, uh, each unit in order. You can halt, which means you don't do anything. You can advance, which means you move forward your speed and make one 90 degree pivot over the course of that around the center. You can march, which is at the double, and that means you can move twice, but you can't pivot or you know do anything. Basically, no turns, just go straight ahead. And you also can't move across things like obstacles during a march. Or you can charge. You have to be in charge range, but it means that you can ignore all terrain, move twice your speed, and then contact a unit and align by a leader point, and then we'll fight in melee later on. So I don't think you have any charges to do. No charges, just movement. Okay. Uh, giant's going to move into the woods here. Cool. Let's move up seven inches. So I'll move some trees. Thank you. It's convenient for us, just gets out of the way of all giants. Just move up here, and there just a little bit of a pivot. Now he is Strider, which is cool, which means he won't be hindered if he charges out of it later on. War Machine's gonna move up his five inches. He's gonna pivot first, and move his five. Getting in the war. Trolls are gonna march up, so they're gonna make a march move and then grab the loot. That's how loot goes on their base. Mm -hmm. But no turns. No chafe. These guys are gonna march up or chart, uh, run up 10 yeah, inches. At the double. Just getting up there. Same we got goblins. Right. Welcome to Goblin Town. See, so you have the mincers, I'm gonna come behind. And, and the only thing you can't move through your troops for is when you charge. But you could double charge because they're taller than those goblins are. Uh, at the same time, hit a unit. And Legion. Run across. Yep, yeah, gonna go on the French line because they can't march across it. Let's go five inches. Then. Tooting the pipes of terror. And the wizard is gonna move up. Now, nice thing about individuals like this wizard is he's nimble. He can change facing any direction he wants at the start of his move. And then the mop ups. Mop ups are just gonna hang back just a little bit. Uh, you know what? Nah. Yeah. Get in the war? Get right. in the war. Let's get in the war here. Fair enough. This center's going to collapse pretty soon, but hey, whatever. Other giant? Giant is just going to pivot and move up to that fence line. Yeah, his strider ability means that he ignores the hindering terrain when he's charging, but not when he's moving, so he can't march across. Pathfinder does that. Turn. One more. Move up his seven. Nine. Right. Troops over here. They are nimble as well. They move 10 inches regularly. Yep, nimble means yeah. they could make a 90 degree turn before they move. So they can basically turn and march, which is nice. Or I can just move it right up there. Get right in somebody's face, yep. Yeah. Get right in somebody's face. And, ooh, ooh. It's fine. Do yeah. your thing. Moving T's and things. And then nimble, so you can move one movement. Yep. Make, make a pivot up to 90. Hi, how's it going, giant? Come back to here, because you... You mentioned from leader point, right? Yep. Well, oh, first shooting, yeah. First shooting, yeah, yeah. 14 is there. Yeah, let's go over to here. And one... One movement. The movement phase is over. That was the first phase done. We're into the shooting phase. Okay, shooting Range phase. Range attack. 
uh, mop up launcher is going to launch some mop ups into uh, the big unit here. So now the mop up launcher has two firing modes. One is when it bombards me, the other one is when it loads your units with mop ups. You have to pay points for them. So first you roll your number of attack dice. Which is three attack dice, and I believe, for this guy. And here. your range skill is? Uh, four plus. Okay. So four plus. And one hit. Perfect. One hit. It's perfect because it just loads you with a mop up now. Boom. Mm -hmm. Mop up. And that means that you ah, can spend him. So now a mop up can be spent during any combat to roll six dice uh, with crushing strength one, hitting on the normal melee stat of the unit. Basically, they unleash the mop up. And if you don't want to pay points for them, the mop up launcher can just feed them into your units. Is that the lightning bolt? Yeah, it's that lightning bolt at your uh, banner guy there. Okay, it's the three hit. dice hitting on fours. One, one hit. hit. So it's crushing, uh, piercing, piercing, one. piercing one. So plus one to your win roll, five plus. Nope. So, so the can of chariot has seven shots, but he's minus inches, one hit. But nah. nothing in range. Not quite in range. Okay. And that's all my shooting. Sweet. These guys don't fire? The wolf boys? Nope. Oh, that's right. They're, they're these are the snippers. So that's right. <laughs> not the scouts. Uh, and so that's your turn. Now we go to melee combat phase. No one's in melee, so it's my turn one. So one of the things about Kings of War is you always know what people can charge. These guys move what? Seven? Uh, nine? Uh, uh, ten. Ten. Okay, yeah. So I got to get outside of 20 if I don't want to get charged by these guys or to their line of fire. Uh, all of that's going to be slightly difficult. Now, my other options are just to force the issue and be like, sure, goblins, come fight us. Uh, I, I think that might be the play here. Here's in charge range, which means really the best thing we can do is block some line of sights and then go to town. So we're just going to pivot and then make a move. I get a single pivot and be like, sure. Hi, I'll stay inch away from you. You guys are going to move six because they walk six and grab the loot. And then they're going to pivot slightly at the end of it. Ah. Walking on the hill. These idiots will march. They can march right through their friends. So eight and then four more. They're going to be coming down the down slope. What's up, everybody? Did you know that we're ogres? We love being ogres. Uh, then these guys, this isn't quite flat, but that's life, are going to march as well. Going eight and then four more at the double. Crack and nimble, so he's just going to march. Don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll nimble for a turn, and then march over to here. Rock's gonna go, and he's just gonna march as well up through here, and then he's gonna nimble to pivot. It's time to do kind of the same thing over here. Uh, and did we just ignore this? No, we can't. There's two objectives over here, uh, but we're not gonna get into charge range. We're just gonna pivot and then move up six and be like, if you want us, come and claim us. Staying inside of ten. These guys will do much the same thing. Stay inside of 14. That's easy. No, no I got it. Uh, stay inside of 14. Just pivoting and like this. And then he's going to stay raised as well. El Gigante knows that these guys can only charge five now, which means he can happily stay outside of 10. He walks seven. So he's just going to move up to here. And now it looks like my movement phase. Time to do some shooting! Alright, so not everyone can shoot, but some folks can. The shooters are going to take some shots, but they move. They have the pot shot rule on their big heavy crossbows, and what that means is they're minus two to hit when they move instead of minus one. So they have a range combat of five, which takes them to sevens, and whenever you go to sevens to hit, you have your number of shots. So normally they shoot 18 dice, now they're going to shoot only nine, and it's going to be six to hit. So nine shots, six to hit. We're going to target the giant over here. Um, and I do have the blessing of the gods though, so I roll ones, which be relevant. Not at all. I roll no ones and no sixes. Good for you, buddy. Uh, so we're going to do some lightning bolt then from him. Uh, now he gets a bonus whenever he's standing near lots of friends. He has one, two, three regiments or hordes within range. So his lightning bolt of three goes to a lightning bolt of six. He maxes it out. Uh, and we need a four plus because it's a spell. I got gotcha you twice at piercing one with lightning bolt. His five plus armor goes to a four plus because I'm plus one. One, two. So he takes two wounds. Yes. All right. And that's the end of my phase. I'd make nerve checks. And I've only wounded one unit. And that means if I roll double sixes here, I'll cause him to waver. Because I think he's 14, 17. Oh, no. He's uh, 18, 20, 18, 19. He's, their giants are pretty high. Oh, that's right. Okay. 
Well, what would I roll? I don't roll box cars. So what you do is when you make a nerve check, you roll two dice and you add the current number of wounds. So I roll a total of seven. And so what's your 17, 19? Uh, 18, 20. 18, 20, yeah. So he's not, he's not impressed. If I rolled a, uh, if I rolled an 18, so I need to get at least six wounds on him and then roll box cars, he'd be wavered, meaning he couldn't act the next round. And if I rolled a 20, he's destroyed. Now that's my phase on. Magic just counts as a shooting attack, basically. And everyone has now shot. So it's back to turn two. And we're going to goblins. All right, so movement phase. So this is easy. There's no charge in. Okay, so leader point to leader point. Now, whenever you do multiple Seven. charges, you declare them at the same time. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, these would be charging as well. No, 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 what? They're not going to charge in. Okay. But they are going to move them later. Okay, this side? Or this side. Let's see if I can get this guy into range, which I think I can. Get within 12? I can get within 12. So if he, he goes straight ahead, 12, right to here. Should we get him within 12? Mr. War Trombone. 12 inches. Yeah, I'm going to try and stay inside of 12, but be inside his 14. Mm -hmm. Just do -do -do. Up a little bit. Um, Does he take one for the team? Going to take one for the team. And Why pivot? not? Take a move action, so yeah. they're going to advance. Pivot. And then walk five. And then walk their five. Be like, hello, here. hello, El Gigante. Hi, how's it going? Throwing in the mincers, but staying inside 12. Yep. And. See, with him, he's just going to move up a little bit. And he doesn't move up, so. Hmm. He's still charging me, I think. There's enough room for you to sit here. I'm gonna make sure there isn't. <laughs> yeah, so I move straight ahead. You shouldn't have enough room to sit. That's fair. And you're good. Taking one for the team. They're charging in. <laughs> Charge, right. They're charging in. Go get them. So it's going to be hindered because yeah. it's across the, uh, unless they have Pathfinder. Don't go it's Pathfinder. across the, um, the thing. So what we'll do for point. hindered is we'll just mark these guys with a red token. All right. These guys are just going to march up. And this pivot. So walk and pivot, advance. Walk and pivot. We'll just move this stuff out of the way. Okay. So five inches up to here. Put that token. Get, it'll be out of the way. To here. And then they're just going to go. Wait for next turn. The Legion. The Legion, yes. The Legion of Gobs. You're like, take the fence, boys. <laughs> Head. Some more lightning bolts later on. Magic missiles, yep. Yeah. And then you got that Absolutely. wolf boy unit and your general and the uh, the big giant over here. Oh, giant is going to be easy. He's going to charge. I think both my general and my giant are going to charge your unit there. Okay. So your general will be hindered. Yep. Your he giant. Will not be, so. I think it goes straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they slide over to yep. pivot. No, they'll, they'll yep. try and ma both maximize All basically right. as much as you can. Same with him. Uh, I'm mistaken. Hindered, he loses his thunderous charge. He does, yeah. There we go. And two. And the wolf and boys. boys. Yeah, nimble to get around the wood, or you're just going to go through it? I might go through it. I can't run I can't, through it, right? I can't march, nope. I can nimble once. Yeah, let's do that. Let's matter. Nimble, then take inches. a walk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Either way. Either way, that Grok Magok is going to be scary, I think. You want to charge his 12? Yep. Ooh. Just into the woods. <laughs> Not in a Grok Magok town. No. Done! Halt order Done. for the big, uh, big scary Mompa Mompa launcher. launcher. Shooting phase! Alright, War Trombone! You got this, buddy! Got 10 shots. Uh, is it artillery? He's, a, he's artillery. He okay. has steady aim. He, steady he aim, so you move fire. fire. Cool. Yep. Uh, let's see, it is 10 shots, uh, hitting on... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hitting on Goblin? Hitting on four, actually. Nice, better than Goblin. Better than Goblin. It's hard to miss with a War Trombone. He has steady aim, so he doesn't get the minus one to hit. Okay, hitting on fours. Not bad. Not too bad, half, but the odds. And then on defense four, are you piercing? Piercing one. So you need threes. Looks like four, four wounds. Oops. Okay. Ow. 
So three docks in the Moffat Launcher also hitting on fours into the same unit. So you get once, but it's blast, which means it turns into D3 hits. One hit. That's fine. And no piercing. So just four plus. Got him. Yeah. Up to five. Okay. Okay. Little, uh... Your lightning bolt. There's your lightning bolt. One hit. One. Piercing, piercing one. one. So threes again. Got him to six. Okay. I do believe that's all my shooting. All right, so you've done wounds here. Now let's yeah. see what your nerve test is. Ten, that's so sixty. Okay. That's potato. Okay. So Seven. seventeen. So seventeen against them. They are a horde. Destroyed. So you have to reroll it because I'm within six of my banner. Because I reroll only destroyed tests. So seven plus six is thirteen. Uh, not quite enough for a waiver. Thank you, inspiring banner, for not having me run away. All right, now we're to the melee phase. Uh, so anyone in combat will get to strike in any order you want. Okay, I'm going to start with the uh, mob, uh, mob East pack, six okay. attacks, hitting on, well, normally threes, but since they're hindered, I'll be fours. Yeah, minus one. They are vicious and crushing strength one as so well. So ones to wound. So fours, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm defense five. Uh, crushing strength one. So fours, and you reroll ones to wound because you're vicious. One. One. There we go. Take a wound. El Gigante, he gets d6 plus eight. So 11 attacks. Probably hitting on fours. He is not hindered because he does not. He has strider. He doesn't care about little fences because of his big lanky legs. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Oh, yee. Three? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. But you're crushing strength a million. Crushing strength uh, four. Yeah, so twos. It does not go am, it's twos. It's literally uh, yeah, 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 twos. Three, so three wounds. I'm right in the kisser. All right, so uh, then you get your chariot. Now, he is hindered. So normally, chariots and cavalry and stuff get thunderous charge. They get crushing strength on the charge, but you lose it because of the hindering. Yep. And, and you minus one to hit. Yep, so he's normally hitting on four. He's hitting on five this time. Okay. One hit. Uh, crushing strength one. So on a three. Okay, uh, and then over here against El Gigante. Got seven attacks. Uh, those guys hitting on fours. Hit on fours. Where are you? There. There you go. That's a up. little better. Thank up. you, dice. Five you hits. Dice. Uh, crushing or uh, thunder charge one. charge one. Yeah. So normally a five, but you'll get a four. And also they're vicious, if I'm not mistaken. So rearing ones. Relevant. Relevant. Yeah. So one, two, three. Potato. potato. Come here, potato. Come on, you got this. Three. So three wounds for the Gigante. And you can start your nerve checks any order you want. Okay, let's start off with uh, these ogres over here. Okay, they took one. I don't think they can waver unless you're a Nope. nope. Uh, these guys took three. Nope. Nope, they do nothing. And then over here against the Gigante, boxcars to waver him. Boxcars. Oh, he got it. He's wavered. Luckily, he's headstrong, so he does get to roll a three plus to try and ignore the wavered, which is an improvement over last mission. Never no. mind. My giant is not headstrong. My frost giants are headstrong. Wrong army. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now he's going to be wavered, which means he he doesn't like that this turn. That's the end of your round two. So it's over to me, and I got to make a plan here. Well, well, you stood outside of range of these guys, but did you stand outside of range of him? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think. Uh, the giant is going to charge into these guys, so he's going to have to pivot to do it, uh, which means he gets his 190 degree pivot. We're going to go like that and then thread the needle. Lots of range. He goes straight ahead, touches there, and then aligns leader point to leader point. These idiots are going to charge them, so they're going to, again, do a pivot. They didn't really have to, but just go straight ahead, shortest distance, and then align. Well, we have lots of things to do here, so we are going to, I think, just march up and grab this. Just gonna go up, boop, and grab it. He's gonna nimble, boop, and then march 12, just to be relevant to everybody. A bit further. And just did it. I think that is going to be the charges. Now, I could counter charge with these guys. Counter charge is an interesting rule. Um, when you counter charge a unit, and when you're, you have to start engaged, and it's for when you're fighting multiple units, you actually push back the other units one inch, and then go into the middle of the unit you're doing. So I'm gonna counter charge these guys, just into your boss. So we align leader point to leader point, mm -hmm. and then you push back, back an inch, basically, out of melee with us. 
What's nice about that means I can do a whole bunch of shooting stuff. Uh, and then Grok Magok's gonna go, and he's just gonna walk. He's going to go straight. And then I think pivot. That is nimble. As waiver, which means he's stuck, and that's all my movement. Let's do some shooting. All right, giant. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Get crossbowed. So I've Two got dice. I've got 18 dice Whoa. on fives rolling ones. Uh, thank you, counter charge, which is a new thing in Kings of War. So basically, it you didn't used to be able to do this, but you could you, if you're charged by multiple units now, you can kind of push them out of combat to shoot other ones. So I am rolling 18 dice, looking for fives, rolling ones. Roll these nine twice, so looking for fives. Well, that was that was pretty good. Uh, there's oh. six. Oh! And then again, no ones yet, though. Six. Oh my god. Well, that was uh, spectacularly above average. Plus six is 12. It's only piercing two. Apparently, <laughs> apparently we're, we're danger close right now. So on threes to wound with my crossbows. Plus two. Normally a five plus, but plus two for these. Uh, these go away, and we did uh, four, eight wounds. So he goes to ten. So I'm tempted to blood boil you, but I think I'm just going to lightning bolt you instead. Because blood boil is one dice, and if I get it, you'll take ten hits at piercing one, because I boil your blood. You already have ten wounds on you. Um, if I don't, though, nothing's really going to happen. Now we blood boil, we do it. Go big or go home. So the um, he doesn't get any bonus to his blood boil from them, it's just one die. So on a four plus, from the whiz, blood boil goes off. We got it, all right, so 10 dice, 10 wounds, 10 dice. Uh, your defense five plus, but I get plus one for piercing, so four plus, do some wounds here. Boil his blood! Hey. Not terrible, only nice. five more wounds, the odds. 15. 15. That looks like all my shooting, so it's into some nerve checks. I only wounded him, but he's got how many? 15, 15 on him now? 15 on him, yep. So, 15. Uh, more than five. Bam. There's a seven. And inspiring from the king. All right, inspired. He's He says, don't die, big giant man. Big he giant dies. man. He Bl runs away. Blood is now above room temperature. <laughs> all right, well, we dealt with that, and then it's uh, it's over here o'clock, so these guys are going to be ogring you. Uh, they have, I think, nine dice for a regiment. Nine dice hit on threes, and they are crushing strength two because of uh, their great weapons. So into this king, nine dice, and wounding on a plus two. So what's yep. defense? Uh, yeah, defense four. So for two. That's going to be five wounds. Ooh. Bam. Ooh. What is your nerve? Uh, 13, 15. 13, 15 with five wounds. I could waver you on an eight. Nope, nothing. Uh, over here, these guys, they get 18 attacks into the Maw Pups. Uh, with Brew of Strength, they are crushing two. Do nine twice again, so threes. Oof, that was not the best, so five. This is making up for my shooting, and then one more time. Uh, five, eight total out of 18, wow. Uh, drop one, and then... then three, so like... It's wounds. it's yes. You take uh, seven wounds. Okay. Their nerve. Their nerve is not that high. It is nine eleven. Nine eleven. So don't roll snake eyes. Hey yeah. Oh, it's but inspiring. inspiring. That's a four plus nine is thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, that awesome. Kaboom. It's over here. Let's do El Gigante and that unit of mincers. So it's D six plus eight. There's six. That's going to be a fourteen dice. Uh. Eight, ten, fours, and those little little goblin machines. Come on, goblin cars. Ones, twos, and threes go away. And then what is your defense? Uh, defense six, because a big shield. Well, front. plus four. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> big shield irrelevant twos. Uh, Gigante says take five wounds. I have just fourteen. They don't have 14, a waiver no state. Waiver. That's right. No waiver stack because they're basically fearless. So I rolled a five there. If I roll a nine, I kill him. Uh, that's a total of mm, 10, and they don't have a waiver. Over here, I'm flanking, and that means I get 36 attacks. You double your attacks when you're flanking in it. Oh, you poor, sweet summer children. So that's going to be um, 36 on threes, rerolling ones to wound at plus two. So, yeah. I think this may be the end of Zombie Shakespeare, so we'll do nine four times. Because I can't hold that many dice. There we go. On threes. Uh, that'll be seven plus six is thirteen. 
plus five eight is twenty one. Last roll. Twenty one plus eight is twenty nine. So here's ten three times minus one. Two is I'm plus two to this. Yeah, so uh, any but ones. Okay, twos. Uh, I reroll ones because I'm vicious. So ten. Oof. Uh, we're rolling 20. No, oh, yeah, at this point, I'm just <laughs> take it. I nice. well, there's actually an interesting rule here now because I'm higher than your nerve check. There's yep. the devastated state, mm -hmm. um, so 28 total. Um, so what happens now is because you have taken if if I snake eyes here and don't kill you, uh, but you have more wounds than your highest, uh, your high value, your right value. You become devastating. It means there's so few of you left that you ha your basically your stats get halved. Everything starts to suck and you don't fight as well. What's your what are your what are your right numbers? Uh 1214. 12, 14. And I'm plus 20 something. Like now, boom! You get kaboomed. Now that inspiring that he has only works on the trolls, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the goblins is. don't care. Uh, and they get explodified. Did you notice I, it hasn't mattered yet, but I also have brutal, which means I always add one to my route tests when I'm fighting. Um, everyone, everyone exploded enough that it didn't really matter. It might have mattered over here, but not quite. That looks like my round two, so it's on to round three. Because why not? So these guys are gonna charge into the flank of my ogres with the bows, my ogre shooters, which is sweet. Uh, they won't get the thunderous because they will be hindered, but they do get a sweet double attack. So you know, these guys done so well. Well, you waver, you waver <laughs> a giant, which was way out of their pay grade. It's pretty impressive. Um, over here, he goes. No, no, from form one there. How does that work for that? They're charging. They're charge. Um, they can't quite align with me, but their charge is already hindered anyway. Normally, if you couldn't slide all the way to line center to center because of this uh, terrain. You become hindered, but you go as close as you can. Yeah. Maximizing your leader point. And so you're, you're already hindered anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You just go as close as you can. Yep. Because you can't fit on top of the building. And over here, Gigante is going to charge in. He has Strider. Yep, so he ignores that. Yeah, that's funny. Yours. Middle, 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 middle point. He's going to stay still. Uh, they're going to charge back into your giant. Trolls are going to charge into that unit of ogres, yep. and he leader point should be in your flank, if I'm not mistaken. Sure. Charge into your flank. Oh. You don't have enough room for him. You have to line up. So you become hit. you become hindered if he okay he he if he went first they could then go but then okay. they would become hindered trying to bump over their friends. Right. Okay. Do you want to become hindered? No, I don't want to become hindered with these guys. So you actually know what? Double charging in them. Yep, perfect. So line up. Sense, yep. Over. I don't, I don't, yet. I don't, don't club. I don't wait, wait for minutes. There you go. You both try and go to the same amount, yep. Yeah. So when you align two units in this one, you go to the same percentage on each model. So he would go he would go to the he can come within one right now. Okay. So he would try and go to like his sixty six percent, these guys go to sixty six percent, and they would share the middle as much as they can. I'm just gonna walk around individually. Yep. Do some bean chanting. Bane, Bane chanting as much as he can. <laughs> Shots hitting on fours. Going into my Going into this fellow because he's yep. on the he's on the hill, so he's height plus three right now. Two, two hits and then two d three. So four plus. four plus defense. Two uh, two throw a Bane chant out in the shooting phase onto these guys. Yeah, I think it's two dice. So Bane for, pan, Bane chant makes you vicious, doesn't? It? Oh, no, he's Christian strength one. Christian strength That's one. Right. I'm pretty sure it's two dice on a four plus. Yep, yeah, two dice. Got it. So Bane. they are now Bane Shannons. You put the guard on them. Whoop, whoop. They're under effects. Uh, ten shots for the uh, War Trombone into your flag. And him. His best life. One. You don't want to kill him. Four on plus. Four plus. That was horrible. I'm so into this. That was, that was and then, horrible. And then plus one, so fours. Fours, yeah. That was... Oh, wow. So that's, into this. That's, that's nasty. He's the best War Trombone. Uh, Guns are it. done, yeah. So uh, you cause wounds here. Nerve check. Nerve check, okay. He's 12, 14. Oh, he's good. He's, he's, he's unimpressed by the dogs falling from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start over with the uh, giant. You got seven this, attacks. This poor jerk. Uh, so seven attacks hitting on fours. Uh, Thunderous nope. charge. He's gone now. Is he engaged? Uh, nope. Oh, uh, wait, I rolled too many dice there. No, wait, okay. I rolled seven. I, you're good. So on four plus. Oh, so you do get yep. Thunderous charge. Because so, I didn't do anything. Thunderous so, charge one. And Vicious as well. 
Relevance. One, super relevance. Scene fours, three. There you go. I go to six. Can you boxcar me again? Can he do it? Do it. Do, do it. it. Ha! Nope. nope. Nine. Close. No, no. He laughs and laughs in, in giant. You king? Nine fours this time. Not hindered. There you go. Four hits. He's Thunder's Charge one and Crushing Strength one. Okay. Four wounds. Four more wounds. They go up to seven. We're off of them. You got this. You got this. Ten. Ten. That's going to be 17. That will kill them, but Inspiring from Grok. Ten. Ten as well. Bam. They're just destroyed. He's just going to spin on the spot so he doesn't get a flank charge from Grok. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter, though, but... Who would you like to be flank charged by? Well, you're certainly going to flank charge on me from Grok, I think. <laughs> Grok, Grok has other things to worry about. Don't you worry about Grok. Grok's, doing, right. Grok's just living his best life. Eight. 28 attacks into the flank from the Fleabag Riders. But they are hindered, so you're only getting on fives, and then lose their Thunder's Charge. That's right. They're still vicious, though. See? I do believe. Yep. Still worth it just to keep me from shooting for a round. And I'm only, I'm only actually only defense for a plus. So your Thunder's going away is not a huge deal. Come on, getting on fives. Not mm, bad. Not too bad. One, six. Two, six of them. Okay. So six plus. Plus another five? Just eleven? Yep, looks like it. Okay. Nice. Should be eleven dice there. Five, five, eleven. And what's your defense? Uh four plus. So your fours are rolling ones. Relevant. So okay. four, five, six, seven, eight. So can you bluff us? If you get a nine plus you kill us. Nope. So eight, fourteen. Fifteen, seventeen, so we're okay. Go get them, goblins. All right, they're going to use their Maw Beast uh, cage. Yep, so first. they let him out. So yep, get six attacks. Six attacks beginning with. Let's do that first, and then I can figure out how many attacks they actually get afterwards. He's minus one to hit because you're hindered. Yep, so on hitting on sixes. fives. Oh, fives? Okay, fives, yeah. four's normal. That's right. Four's normal, yep. Two. Okay. Two. Uh, Pierce, or Crush Strength one. Does he get Bane Shannon? I don't know. Why, why wouldn't he? Wait, 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 He's wait, part wait. of the unit. Okay. I'd say would. Plus two. Plus so two. threes. Two wounds. Two they go to three. And then you have 30 attacks, doubles to 70. Because I forgot to pivot after I killed that guy. <laughs> so so 70 dice, but hitting on sixes because you're hindered. Okay. Crushing two. No, crushing one right crushing now. One. Crushing one. Yeah. Just roll 10 dice seven times. Oh, jeez. Okay. 10 dice. Here we go. Seven times. Six is, six six is. easy to spot, right? All right. One. one. Keep going. <laughs> we got this. We got this. <laughs> you better than this, boys. There you there go. You go. So That's four. four total. This is number three. Ah, you. Uh, five, six. Number four. Seven, eight, nine. Number five. No potato. potato. Still nine. Number six. Ten and number seven. Oh, goblins! There we go. <laughs> so fourteen. That's not bad. Not, not bad. good. Fourteen and crushing one. So they forced to wound. The angriest goblins are. One, two, three. Not too terrible. Uh, four, five, six. Six. So we got a nine total. And the big roll. Six and nine is fifteen. That's enough to waver us. That's all you got. Okay, I nice. can't force the reroll though either, because Grok only like inspiring only affects things that aren't uh, that aren't um, that being destroyed. Eight Gigante attacks. going in. So th eleven. Eleven attacks. Not bad. Not bad. Hitting on fours. Better. That's Pretty a better good. giant. I like this. Well, maybe it's not Okay, five. Five. Uh, and Christian then two is, yeah, yeah, just twos. Four. Four. Let's see if you got us. They were, these guys are brutal as well with Pipes of Terror, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then you and got just one wavered. extra, it's the same thing, it was still yep. wavered, yeah. Nope. Four is an eight, that's nothing. E6 plus 14 is actually the mincers. Get them! <laughs> 16 so, attacks. Not too bad. Hitting on good? Uh, hitting on 
fours. Yeah, sitting on fours. Fours it. Those are horrible. And then crushing strength. Uh, one. So fours. Three, four. Four wounds. Get a box car. Nope. Time. Trolls are 18. Yes. Attacks. Yes. Good. Yes. Good little trolls. Slashing. Fours for blade slashing. Yep. We roll one, one hit and melee. Looking trolly. Looking. Looking okay. Oh goblins. Looking okay. Oh trolls. Real one. Relevance. Super relevant. Yep. Okay. Crushing, crushing two. Two. Yep. Two is to wound. And are they vicious? Uh, they are not vicious. Okay. So it looks like four, five, six. Six. We go to twelve. Oh, they're not feeling good. Okay. And the hero there. He gets five attacks. Five attacks. Getting on threes. There's two, and then crushing. Oh, sorry, three. three yep. Yep. Crushing and two. Two's to wound. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. You need a boss. Right. You need a boss. Okay, so you need uh, you need a seventeen or five to kill us. We roll it. Inspiring. Ah, ah, ah. You won. No, ah. six. Again. Eighteen kills him. You have to bump back outside of one, but you can pivot. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. These guys are going to search for d six. Why not? Get, get in the game. Get, get in the war. <laughs> One inch. We're tired, trolls. We're, we're fine. We're fine. And he really can't do anything. Because uh, he can't go across your base. He's going to stay still. See? Well then, we've survived another round-ish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, time to make the proverbial chimichangas as the bottom of three rolls in. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, movement phase. Croc, you're going to make an example of these guys. So you're going to pivot with your nimble, and you're going to charge in here. And be like, hello, I would like you to die. You're going to counter charge, so they're no longer being flanked. Uh, they're wavered, aren't they? Oh, they did waver. They can't do jack. That's right. Oh, we're going to take it for a turn. Ah, it's life. We're going to charge in the rear of your boss with him. Because why not? Just continue to beat on you. Uh, and then this guy's going to nimble, and then charge your war trombone. Let's have a fight. Will be disorderly though, because I'm going into the woods. And I think that is going to be that. Uh, time to make the murders. He's in melee, so no magic this time around. So let's just start with him. He gets 12 attacks. Hey man, shake these goblins off. <laughs> this is this is your round. You're gonna do it. You can do it, man. You can do it. On fours. It's a troop of goblins. This shouldn't be a big deal for you. And then crushing strength four, so oh, I don't yeah, care who you are in the easy. game, it's twos. <laughs> Crushing strength uh, giant, that will be seven wounds. They are 9-11, and I am brutal. So I'm actually plus extra here. Uh, that's gonna be six, they are exploded. They did their job. And I will turn did around and be like, job. what is happening? I just realized Grok's actually not an individual, he's nimble, which means he can't turn about face. I have to start and charge Grok, so I'm gonna have to charge into your boss over here, which means these guys are gonna counter charge during their turn. Uh, let's just throw in the far this time around. Um, yeah, it's an important distinction. Ogre heroes, they mess me up sometimes because they're not individuals. Individuals can pivot and charge any direction when they want because they can turn before they get their order. These guys get an extra turn during their order. So it's a slight difference, but relevant in this case because I couldn't about face and charge these guys. I had to go into the front. I totally forgot about it. But let's uh, let's make an example out of this king. So we're going to have seven attacks. Uh, Grok has blast on his melee attacks at crushing strength three. So hit on threes. Everyone turns into D3 hits. Ugh, not oh. the best, but they turn to D3, which is still sweet. So that turns into seven hits. Crushing tank three, what's your defense? Oh, defense four. Okay. So it just and takes six more. Yeah. So you go to so 11. 11. Yep. And then I get triple my attacks for my warlock in the rear. There's two attacks, triple to six on fours. Yeah, that's, that's how we do it. And then crushing one. So on threes. Does one more wound, so you go to 12. Oh. And then we're brutal, so it's 13, and I roll an 18, inspiring. but you're inspiring. I roll a snake eyes. Oh, uh, so I roll close. A five, so explode that guy. Uh, Grok is gonna... Surge? Yeah, let's surge with Grok. He goes three. Boop. And then he's just gonna pivot, like so. Shootas, uh, they still have 18 attacks because they are still ogres. 
Let's see what we can see. 5, 10, 14, 16, 18. Fours to hit, crushing strength one. I mean, we are still overs. Fours, reroll ones though, because I'm elite. Uh, elite. And then, not the best, not the worst. We at least did some wounds, so you lose your thunderous. And then crushing one. Uh, defense four, so threes. Ugh, uh, take three. Okay. Uh, 14, so if I roll a nine, I waver you. If I roll a boxer, I kill you. Uh, so that's gonna be a nothing, just fine. You guys are wavered, so they're just gonna get pounded on again. Uh, over here, let's stab a giant. So I have 18 attacks, I have the brew of sharpness, so I hit on twos. Hitting on twos, come on, the goblins did it, you can do it. <laughs> And then wounding on fours, crushing one. Come on, ogres. You can do this. It's not ogre till it's ogre. We do a bunch. We do, it looks like, seven. Brutal for eight. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's a 17. 17. Ah, it does not waver. It's 18, 20. Sorry, actually, uh, brutal for eight plus nine to 17. Yeah. yeah. You're 18, 20? 18, 20. Ugh, just not enough. All right, over here. Get him, kill man. Which means you always triple your attacks again, so my three attacks go to nine. Uh, and I'm crushing one, hitting on melee three plus. Not the best, not the worst, but crushing one, what's your defense? Uh, defense four. So threes, uh, it's gonna be five wounds. Okay, uh, eight, ten. Eight, ten, so five plus this. Whoa! Ah. He's fine. I'm mean, stat and, and it doesn't I really, yeah, I, <laughs> I rolled bad, but you can't do anything next turn, so you're just kind of sitting there. And then El Gigante, he gets 12 attacks. 12 attacks on fours into the big Kilimajigs. Always mad. Oops. And that's going to be on twos, because it's always on twos, because giant. Cause look, at, look at that guy. Uh, plus seven. Oh, seven plus five is 12. 12? Yep. And what's your stat? Uh, not that high. Uh, 14. 14 so with 12? Snake, snake Eyes. Bye. Boom. We will pivot and be like, what's up, nerds? All right, that looks like my three. Top of four. We've managed to repulse this, except for <laughs> except for this not going as well as I wanted it to. And it's top of four. Countercharge in. Countercharging in, yep. Yeah. Uh, they were wounded, though, so I think they lose a Thunderous. They lose a Thunderous, that's right. Uh, Countercharging as well. Yep. Um, he's staying still. Give out Bane Chance. Counter charging into your ogres. War Machine's going, hi! <laughs> I didn't <laughs> get wavered for some in? reason. Please uh, stop hitting us! <laughs> Over here, I do believe my hero can charge in, but yep. these guys cannot. They're not within your arc. You can definitely charge these ogres though. Oh, but they're within 10 though. Is it from any point or from leader point? You have to pivot and then go. But you can't go through your friend during the charge. During the charge except so I have to charge him in first. Yep. And then you can't move through except to pivot. Right. So if you're gonna line then, with that back corner, like right, then, like there, without going through your friend. That I don't know if I can or not. No, it doesn't look like it. No, no. Either way, it was tight. Mm hmm But they're just gonna move up anyway. About five and get ready for next turn. Yep. Okay. Hopefully the giant can do it by himself. In the war. These guys. Thirty-six. Nope. Ah, you're... I'd say yes. Yeah, yeah, you got him. Just by the corner. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, you have a 45 arc though, right? Uh, 30... Yeah, 45 arc from the corners. Yeah, so you're good. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so shooting. Uh, Bane chant into uh, my quarter goblins there, because they definitely need it. Give that sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Huh! Got it. Got it. Bane chant it again. Uh, three dice on fours against your uh, warlock there. Two hits. Or D3. Uh, four. Four total on fours. One more. One wound. So he goes to three. Okay, that's all my shooting. Yeah. Let's go to... Uh, Let's see his nerve check. Uh, very inspiring. Roll out again. That's better. <laughs> Oscillating between dead and not. Crack player. He's like, what are you doing? Stop messing with those pugs. <laughs> He's dogs. just petting them. He's just petting them. That's it. He's not actually getting hurt by them. He's just petting them constantly. Crack uh, is just so unimpressed. All right, let's do uh, 14 attacks into your uh, ogre guys up there. Go get them. They're no longer hindered, so hit on fours. That's better. Not too bad. And then but no thunder's again. charge, though. They are vicious. Reroll ones. Two. Go to ten. 
See if you got it. Nope. Uh, it's a 15. 15. I think that wavers me. Yep. That'll make them waver for this round. Okay, got 70 attacks again. 70 attacks again, but now on fives because you're no longer hindered. Better. Not bad. So the first That's one is five. five. That's one. Uh, plus five is ten. Oh, plus four. Plus four is nine. Third one. Nine plus three is twelve. Fourth one. Plus three more. Plus three more is fifteen. Fifth one. 16, 17, 18, 19. Sixth one. Plus four is 23. Last one. This is more like it. Go Goblins! 23 plus five is 28. 28, all right. 14 twice. Double the amount of hits. Okay, uh, crush make one because the Bane chance. Yep, so fours. Three. Three. Four, five, six, seven. And then eight more. Four, so that's another five. Five more, so 12. I go to 21. Snake Eyes, with a reroll. Try again, so close, so close. Yeah, oh. dead. <laughs> what, that's, what would you like to do? Uh, might as well search ahead. Cool. That's all I got. You got this, four inches. It's welcome to Welcome, welcome to, to Pain Town with Grok Magok. Grok Magok kill an entire legion of goblins by himself. I mean, he's he's had worse. <laughs> the giant gets 11. Attacks. On fours. Oops. That's not horrible, not mm, great. Five. Yeah. Five. Yep. And then twos. Five goes to nine. Get an eight and I'm dead. Nope. Nope. That's a. Oh, geez, that's a nine thirteen. We're not even wavered. Rolly's going in. Four hits. Crushes tank two. And get him. So threes. Three oh, more. Better, three goes more. to seven. Got to roll an eleven to waver me. <laughs> huh. Everything. And that looks like everybody. All right. Well, my four. Grok, you're going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting right now, buddy. <laughs> I love you. You're my favorite. Don't mess this up. He's up first. This giant just striders in and hopefully obliterates these guys, finally. Blah. Now they're wavered, so not doing jack this turn. Grok goes in. He'll nimble, so he can just not go through his friend. And then go in the middle. You guys will all just counter charge back in and... The question is, what do I do with you? I think the answer is, I just go in. nimble, go six, and then nimble. Big fella, get the work done. D6 plus eight, 10 times three is 30. <laughs> You'll be fine, goblins. You'll be fine. It's, all, it's all good. You're going to do great on force. Uh, oh my god, with that you are. Two. Try again. Ah, that's more like it. Uh, two plus five is seven. Last one. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. On twos, they currently have three on them. Oh my god. Uh, well, you take another six and go to nine. How are you so 12, bad? Uh, sevens, so that's a Seven, sixteen. Sixteen pops them. And they explode. He'll uh, do his run forward. He goes two, just comes up the hill a little bit more. Uh, these idiots, I think, can still turn around, even though they're wavered. Interesting note, uh, they don't actually get to make the turn around because they weren't charging or countercharging this turn. They were only, they were just um, halted because they were staying in melee because they were wavered. But the waver goes away. And the next turn, hope that they can do something. Well, all right then. Grok Magok. All right, buddy. I need you to get perfect dice right now and just kill this whole legion. By yourself on the charge or at least waver them. So he has seven attacks, hitting on threes. Oh, not like that you won't, buddy. And then D3 each. That's better. So six, seven, eight, nine hits. 
And then winning on twos, because crushing strength three. Take eight. With nine wounds, you're 25, 27. I have to roll box cars to waver you. hey -ya! I dumped. All right, fellas, over here. Finish this giant off. It's going to be eight attacks. Goes to sorry, 18 attacks at twos, because they're plus one. So that's going to be eight, and then five, ten. Looking for twos. Come on, buddies. Get down with the ultra violence. This is what you trained all last week for. Twos. Uh, ones go away. Whoops. And that one too. And then it's going to be on fours. Crushing one. He's got how many on him? Seven? Yep. Ooh, I got to get to a 20. Not terrible. Looks like we're going to add three, six, seven. So 14. So a six plus, I kill you. Brutal, so it's actually a five plus. Come on, brutal. Yeah, we got you nine. And then we'll change facing. All right, get him. <laughs> you got nine attacks. Kill this war machine that somehow survived last round. They're negotiating the price of not dying. Uh, on threes for my army standard. That's more like it. And then what's your defense? Four? Uh, defense was four, surprisingly. So threes. I do another... Oh, yeah. Don't roll snake eyes. Eight. Don't roll snake eyes. Don't roll snake eyes. Dead. Almost. <laughs> El Gigante, do this. Ugh, nine attacks. Hopefully it's enough on fours. Fours to hit. Kick that little guy. He's being uppity. Uh, we got six, five hits. Uh, defense five. So defense, defense, strength giant. <laughs> I do four. Okay. And then what's his nerve? 12, 14. 12, 14. So with four, I throw a 10. 10 to kill him. Nine. So I at least waver him. Thinks twice about fighting the giant. <laughs> oh, sorry. This guy's going to pivot. And turn around. Well, okay then. That's my right. four. We got the Legion left, the wizard, and then all of Troll Town come to play. Gog? Counter charging, yep. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to move to the fence. You walk over the fence. I walk over the fence. Walk over the fence. Here's your face. Right there. Okay. Peace, my own guys. Just Bane Chanton. Bane Chanton. Uh, trolls are going into your uh, horde. Horde versus horde. That makes sense. Hordo dudes versus hordo dudes. He's a halt order, but he does have regeneration of five plus. Yep. So when he gains the order, uh, he'll roll four dice each five plus. He gets a wound back. Nope. Nothing. Good luck. Mop up launcher. You got this. Yep. Oh yeah. Thirty six. <sighs> slowly firing pugs at him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Three on fours. Ha! Two hits. Two three. Uh, two threes. Oh my god, six, six on fours. Six little puppies coming at you. Grok and Grok has left him behind. Uh, Three, two more. Two more. So he goes to five. And then Don't do it. He's going to Bane Chant at them. Yep. Four plus. You got this. Yep, got Bane Chanted. See what happens to the Warlock. Uh, that's a 13. A 13, he's wavered. Not quite enough to kill him, but very close. On five. 35 attacks. 35 attacks. Are you tri religion. I thought you had seven. Oh, you doubled. That's right. Because doubled, right? Because Yep. Madness. There's first him. Actually, no. Yeah. Fives? On fives. Looks like one, two, three. Two sure. There Still we go. Didn't matter. Uh, looks like <laughs> five for the first one. Six. Six. <laughs> go Goblin Town. It's goblin, goblin strategies. Six, seven, eight, and then and eight five more. more. Oh, sorry, five more. Eight, nine. So nine on your fives normally, but you're crushing one, so fours. Not horrible. It's pretty good. Five? Uh, no, uh, six. Six, okay, six wounds. And what happens to him? Ha! Nine. Fifteen? Yep. Wavered Grok. I wavered You did it. <laughs> he's, not, he's not into it at all. Brutal would put you at, what'd you get? You got, got 6, nine. 15, yep. 16, so I'm still, I wasn't destroyed. That's good. I'd rather take the waiver than yeah, destroy. Yeah, yeah. yeah the destroy you had to reroll. Um, you know, over here? Of course. Yes. Of course, get him. Wow, not too shabby. Trolls are mad. Not too bad at all, actually. And threes to wounds. Looks First like you got, two. yeah, you got 12 out of that. Yeah. Take away three. So you're at five, nine. So I'm at 18. I am over my limit. So just roll, roll me snake, guys. And Try roll. it again. Oh, so close. They're destroyed. Place inside my footprint. These guys are just going to pivot as they do. 
come see what's up. Looks like everything for you. All right, well, it's it's getting dicey. We're all running out of guys. Uh, things aren't looking great. And Grok just had, just Grok just unfortunately got in trouble. You idiots are in the way, which means you need to go somewhere. All right, Giant, can you do this by yourself? You're gonna have to. So we're gonna start with these guys. They're gonna make their pivot and they're gonna move six over to here. Burp. We got him giant. <laughs> he charged 14, so bam. And then we split the middle. Uh, Gro actually, Grok has to back off first, I think. Yeah, he's back off. Uh, no, he's just gonna fall back through. Okay. Just straight up back off. Boop. And then giant's gonna charge. You go in the middle. Boop. It's like I hired you to do a job, do the job. Uh, and this idiot's actually gonna make his nimble. And then he's gonna move six. Going to get this. So he's gonna go three, and then he'll make a second turn, and then go three, and go touch that. And he'll counter charge, and try and finish that guy off. So, hey, oh actually, you can hold it, you can actually back up two, can't you? You're back up three. I wanna get outside of range of that pup launcher that keeps trying to obliterate <laughs> me. If you wanna move it, feel free. Well, time to make the, the murders, let's do it. So let's go with Big Giant, he's got D6 plus eight. He's got 14, Ooh. he's mad, he's picking up steam now. He's learned how to do the goblin killing. He, he took him a while because he had to kill a bunch of wolves at the same time. Hit on fours. And then wounding on twos. Looks like six more, you're at 15. Uh, I gotta roll a big crazy high number though to kill you. That's a 20? Nope, 25, 27. Ugh. One actually because I'm brutal, but regardless, we're just gonna stand there for a bit. Uh, and then over here, do I kick this guy in the head? Mm, 14 times ago, oh. apparently. He's, uh. his, his giants are no longer messing around. <laughs> Hit on fours. Oh, this guy's so mad, because you grew part of your arms and legs back. And then we on twos, strength bananas, because we're crushing strength four. Take an extra seven. Seven, okay. 11. He's at fours, he at 11. Uh, I roll a, with Brutal, a 19. 19, uh, inspiring to himself. I roll a... Ooh, 11 plus, that's 15? Uh, 16, because of Brutal. 16, yep, pops him. And we'll pivot. Hello. Turn five, it's getting pretty thin. You got some trolleys holding the thing. Yep, trolleys gonna charge into the giant, of course. Of course. You know, gotta pop the giant. That's what we do, they're mopping up the side. We've got a lot of work done this game. Range of anybody. Pop launch is going to move. Yep, so you can't fire this turn, but next turn, hopefully. And he's just going to do his Bane chant. Sounds good. Hooah! Gets it off. That's all my shooting. Oh, they should be one inch back. I forgot because they're slowed down by the thing. Not that it mattered. Okay. So 35 attacks into your giant. Get him. We got this. We got this. You'll be fine. Yeah, giant, you're fine. Maybe on fives. 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 We got this. Uh, three. Three. Four, five, six. Oops. I should add five more dice in there. Chirp. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. All right. That's those four. Crush of strength ones, rooting on fours. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Six goes to 12. Brutal, so it's basically plus 13, get a seven. Eight. Inspiring. Grok says no. Ah, oh, he's dead. It's okay, Grok will finish you himself. <laughs> Baby. Maybe it's gonna surge in. Five, five inches, so it stops an inch away from you. Yep. This Commodore is doing some work, man. See attacks over here. I've got eight wounds on me. Can you finish him? Hitting on fours with blades of slashing. Rule of one that doesn't hit. Nope. And then plus two, so you're winning on threes. This could be the end of Zombie Shakespeare. Another six. Six, so he goes to 14. Are you brutal? Uh, don't think trolls are brutal. No, trolls are not brutal. Okay. So you're looking for a six to kill me. Nope. No, he lives. Yeah. So that's Giant only lives. a 15, does nothing. Or 19, rather. 19? 
Uh, I'm at 14 plus 3. Maybe Sorry, 17. 17. So one, one, one short. Well, okay then. Ay, ay, ay. So now the question is, do I charge Grok in and finish you? Or do I try and blood boil you to death? All of these sound like terrible ideas. <laughs> um, we lost the giant. Grok, you're going to have to do it, buddy. You're going to have to go get him. We're going to back up onto this. We're going to just pivot. And then we're going to charge. Because, of course, we are. He's just going to walk, uh, march, I think, to here. And then make a pivot. Going five because he slowed down by his loot. And then he'll counter charge. Can't shoot in the combat, but if all goes horribly wrong, I can at least shoot next turn. Grok, I really need you to pull this one <laughs> off, buddy. You've, you've lost all your men. It's down to you. They have 15 wounds on them. A 25 will at least waver them. You just need to not miss. Don't miss. That's better. You're waking up. And then D3 per hit. Ugh. Three, four, five, uh, eight. You could have, you could have just, you could have just been good. Two, first three. Uh, there's seven, so seven more wounds. I just do seven at a time, apparently. So fifteen goes to twenty-two. And what do I have to do to kill you? Two. Um, you need twenty-five, twenty-seven. Uh, so you're twenty-two. I'm brutal for twenty-three. See you ah, later. Boom. And that gets placed by you inside their footprint. Uh, I'm going to back up three. Just be like, whatever, mop up launcher. Whatever. Here. Get him, big giant. Oh, you're tired. You're tired. I understand, buddy. You've done a lot of work. Nine dice. This isn't going to kill them, but it might put a big hurt on them. Fours. And then Can crushing we, four, so, so twos. twos wounds. Yep. Five wounds. Okay. You're 15, 17. 15, 17. So if I roll a 10, I waver you. 10! Yes! Oh, that's 17! 17 pops him! Oh my god, you're my Boom. hero. God! Ah. We don't need another hero. Let's move up to D6. I <laughs> uh, just want he's tired. Ugh. Wow! <laughs> you can kill, you can, I, that, that went so much better than I expected. You got a wizard and, and a mop, uh, mop launcher, launcher left. left. Well, see so if you can kill somebody. You can kill him for sure. Yep. And that'll make me drop an objective. Alright, I want to go with a uh, mop up launcher against your. Uh, Boy over there. 36, yep. This will finish attacks. him off, probably. Possibly. Two, two hits. Two, D3. three. Uh, five. That'll do it. Uh, four more. Yeah. Right. Roll uh, Roll good. I'm, not, I'm like 9, 12. I'm dead. Roll again. Roll again. Roll snake guys. Huh. No, I'm dead. Blam! You, you lasted a while. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Magic rock. missile! Yeah. Magic missile! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Right. Pressing one. Pressing one. So fours. Two. two. Goes to seven. Roll ten and I'm dead. Nope. No, nothing. At this point in time, I think I'm going to concede. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nothing else I can take. But, well, bottom, bottom of six, I'm going to walk on that one. I'll march on this one. And then, does the game keep going? It does. You have one more chance of shooting me. <laughs> so I'm here. I'll nimble. See if you can kill Grog. All right, I see. I'm here. I walk over the wall. Oh, yeah. All right, Mop Pop Launcher, you got this. One hit. Three, Three hits. On fives. One, one. moon. That's enough. Put them at eight. And whiz. Whiz, 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 whiz. Lightning bolts. Lightning bolts. Fours. Nope. Nothing. All right. Can you do it? You need a nine to kill me. Hurrah! Nothing. This game, I'm holding one, two, three, four, and we've managed to... There's not a lot of guys <laughs> left, but we managed to hold them off. So there we go into the game, managing to take it home for the ogres. We didn't realize afterwards, we played with the wrong number of loot counters. There should only be three. You only roll and pillage for how much loot there is. This was uh, loot, and we had two additional ones that shouldn't have been there, but it's not a big deal. Um... Yeah, so the next one, we're going to have we'll see another game in two weeks. We're going to try out Invade, which is a no-token mission, but at the end of the game, you're going to count up how many units you have with at least one unit strength in your opponent's half of the table, and that's how many points you score. So um, th that was it. Big thanks for watching. We'll see you on these. Uh, big thanks for Chase coming in and painting up his goblins. Thanks, Tom Ash. Right. Have a great day.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.